Do you guys ever own such a doorbell? They're horrible. Basically, they're they're like something like 30 euros, um, and um, you don't need any wires. Only batteries. Lots and lots and lots of batteries because they, you know they use batteries like crazy. These little things, and they're very un unreliable. Um, I I think I've have more people knocking on my door than actually you know successfully using this uh, this bell. Um, so I decided to. Um, to fix this problem and make something, uh, well, which could be considered a bit more useful. Uh, I ripped out the inside and only the stuff that I really needed or the board that I really needed was that uh, would receive um, the radio signal of, uh, of this thing and, um, you know, would light up this LED, this LED. Um, I thought it would be cool to uh, make a uh, small Arduino project, project uh, Arduino project based on that. So what I did is uh, I basically used uh, what normally switch switches the LED on um, on the doorbell. I use that as um, um, as a trigger for uh, one of your uh, Arduino pins and little code uh, on the Arduino that reads out the pin and writes a little uh, zero or a one to, uh, to uh, the, the serial console or the serial port. Little uh, script on my Mac that uh, reads out uh, the serial port and, you know, sends out um, a pushover notification um, if someone rings my doorbell. So, small demonstration, there we go. So, light, the LED, LED lights up. And we should be getting a pushover notification, push notification on my iPhone. Which takes a bit of time sometimes, but usually it's not too bad. Um, for some reason it's... Oh, there we go. That was a, that was a bit slow. Um, but as you can see, I, I've been testing. <laughs> So normally I, I don't know what will happen here. Uh, probably just a small uh, hiccup. Um, we can uh, we can try again. Um, normally it's quite uh, quite fast. When in a couple of seconds uh, you will have the notification. There you go. So that's 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 perfectly doable. You won't let anyone wait uh, for for too long. Um, as you can see, the, the, the little board that, that receives the radio signal, uh, it's quite small, the, the, you know, the wiring is deadly simple. I mean, I power off uh, the little board now from, from the Arduino, and I use pin 9 to, uh, to, uh, to read the high or the low from, uh, from the little board. And um, I use a Ruby script to, to you know, communicate with uh, pushover. That's it. And... Um, Curious. We'll see if it um, in practice it uh, it will work. And uh, at least now I know when someone is uh, standing in front of my door, even when I'm not home. Wonderful.